the book of lamentations how lowly sits the city that was full of people how like a widow is she who was great among the nations the princess among the provinces has become a slave she weeps bitterly in the night her tears are on her cheeks among all her lovers she has none to comfort her all her friends have dealt treacherously with her they have become her enemies judah has gone into captivity under affliction and hard servitude she dwells among the nation she finds no rest all her persecutors overtake her in dire straits the roads to zion mourn because no one comes to the set feasts all her gates are desolate her priests sigh her virgins are afflicted and she is in bitterness her adversaries have become the master her enemies prosper for the lord has afflicted her because of the multitude of her transgressions her children have gone into captivity before the enemy and from the daughter of zion all her splendor has departed her princes have become like deer that find no pasture that flee without strength before the pursuer in the days of her affliction and roaming jerusalem remembers all her pleasant things that she had in the days of old when her people fell into the hand of the enemy with no one to help her the adversary saw her and mocked at her downfall jerusalem has sinned gravely therefore she has become vile all who honor her despise her because they have seen her nakedness yes she sighs and turns away her uncleanness is in her skirts she did not consider her destiny therefore her collapse was awesome she had no comforter o lord behold my affliction for the enemy is exalted the adversary has spread his hand over all her pleasant things for she has seen the nations enter her sanctuary those whom you commanded not to enter your assembly all her people sigh they seek bread they have given their valuables for food to restore life see o lord and consider for i am scorned is it nothing to you all you who pass by behold and see if there is any sorrow like my sorrow which has been brought on me which the lord has inflicted in the day of his fierce anger from above he has sent fire into my bones and it overpowered them he has spread a net for my feet and turned me back he has made me desolate and faint all the day the yoke of my transgressions was bound they were woven together by his hands and thrust upon my neck he made my strength fail the lord delivered me into the hands of those whom i am not able to withstand the lord has trampled underfoot all my mighty men in my midst he has called an assembly against me to crush my young men the lord trampled as in a winepress the virgin daughter of judah for these things i weep my eye my eye overflows with water because the comforter who should restore my life is far from me my children are desolate because the enemy prevailed zion spreads out her hands but no one comforts her the lord has commanded concerning jacob that those around him become his adversaries jerusalem has become an unclean thing among them the lord is righteous for i rebelled against his commandment hear now all peoples and behold my sorrow my virgins and my young men have gone into captivity i called for my lovers but they deceived me my priests and my elders breathed their last in the city while they sought food to restore their life see o lord that i am in distress my soul is troubled my heart is overturned within me for i have been very rebellious outside the sword bereaves at home it is like death they have heard that i sigh but no one comforts me all my enemies have heard of my trouble they are glad that you have done it bring on the day you have announced that they may become like me let all their wickedness come before you and do to them as you have done to me for all my transgressions for my sighs are many and my heart is faint 